Today I am going to talk something about Nash. As you know that in India, most of the people think that liver disorders basically are related to alcohol. But it is not so. These days we are getting lot of Nash and NAFLD patients. That means non-alcoholic steatohepatitis and non-alcoholic fatty liver diseases. The patients in this setup they have chronic liver disorders and which may lead to cirrhosis ultimately. The commonest reason in last decade we have seen that it has increased because possibly our uh, physical activity has gone down, we are putting on weight, we are more obese and our dietary habits are changing. So those patients who develop NASH or NFLD should be treated properly and what we have seen that the patients are not careful about their diets. The patients who are diabetics, 70% of them may develop NASH or may be at the risk of NASH. What happens in NASH and NFLD that gradually the fat deposits in the liver and it may lead to inflammation of the liver leading to chronic liver disease and which may culminate into a terminal cirrhosis of the liver. So those patients who have dyslipidemia means elevated cholesterol triglycerides, those who are diabetics, those who are obese, they have to be careful and they should go to their doctors to consult if they find fatty liver, something like that in ultrasound or any of the reports. As of now, we don't have any gold standard drug to treat this disorder. Yes, but certainly by changing the dietary habits, by doing the regular exercise, reducing weight, we can reduce the risk of developing chronic liver disease. In diet mostly, the fat should be less and the portion what you eat should be small. A regular exercise is the only way in by which you can reduce the uh, body weight and by reducing the intake along with the exercise helps you a lot. So dear friends, if you have diabetes, you have to be cautious, if you are obese, Go for regular exercise, control your diet and reduce weight so that you don't have to develop NASH or uh, fatty liver in future. Thank you very much.